Okay, here to review the latest episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes Ultra God Mission. Uh, so, you know, we start off with this chapter, and what's really cool in this chapter is, you know, we got Gohan fighting, uh, you know, one of the Migra's boys here, I forget this dude's name, and, you know, Gohan pulls out the spirit ball, and he's even got, like, the Yamcha pose, it's kind of crazy, and he's just firing at him, this dude's having the dodge, not just Gohan now, uh, is learning to dodge, this guy's having to learn to dodge, and then you got Piccolo and his evil double ganger, who for some reason called Gohan his disciple, doing a dual special beam cannon, and they end up hitting, like, one of... Uh, you know, Deborah's boys right here. He just gets totally destroyed. I mean, the the um, art, excuse me, looks very great here. I mean, and in, this will look great in the anime, although they're kind of going in a different direction. So I don't know if we're going to get see any similar scenes to these in the anime, but um, it would look great. It looks, the art is amazing. So then we get uh, Vegito going against Demigra. Demigra's got like these giant arms that he's using as like defense, but they're not really holding up. Vegito's just too OP He's just tearing through him. I mean, look at this kick. I mean, he's crazy. He's got the sword. You know, again, throwing more kicks. Demigra's really struggling. Vegito's just toying with him. And, uh, you know, then you start to see... I mean, look at this. I mean, the art here is just incredible. I mean, this is great. Um, and then, you know, his arms are wearing out. But he knows, like, oh, okay. the fusion is not permanent anymore. It was retconned. Vegito's fusion is not permanent anymore. So... As in the uh, Goku Black arc, they defuse, and now they're going to have to fight Demigra separately. And, you know, they look very disappointed here. Demigra goes into his offensive form because now he's confident he can beat them. Pulls out this, like, giant, like, death ball thing. And then uh, we got this epic shot of Goku with the Kamehameha and Vegeta with the Galaga gun. Demigra looking all sinister. And uh, then he's, Demigra pulls out this giant, you know, again, the, the giant uh, chaotic Gigantus. And we get this giant clash of their attacks, which just, you know, is really cool to see. So, you know, again, this chapter, not much to it, but a lot of action. Uh, credit to uh, to uh, DBS Chronicles for translations, as always. Again, you know, Super Superheroes is one of those love it or hate it series. If you love uh, fan service, you're going to love this, especially if you love Vegito. If uh, you don't and you think it's just too much... Maybe don't give it a read, but I would say if you love Vegito, if you love fan service of the characters, give this chapter a read. It's at least fun, you know, again, story-wise, don't expect much. It's heroes, but it, a lot of good action this chapter, um, and, the, and the art was fantastic. So I would say, you know, give it a, mm, mm, uh, you know, I always kind of give similar numbers, but I always shy from a 10, but uh, maybe... Uh, as far as Super Dragon Ball Heroes goes, maybe like 9 out of 10. The action was really great. Um, it just could have been a little bit longer. You know, it feels like this chapter was a little bit short. But um, the art was great. The fight, with, the fights were great. And uh, it really delivered on what Super Dragon Ball Heroes is good at. So, um, wherever you are, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And wherever you are, have a great day.